Hi. Logical equivalence laws makes it easy to simplify complex propositional statements and in turn find the truth value of the statement. These are very important, so memorize them. And to make it easy for you, we have designed a special worksheet. I'll share the link in the video description. Just download that and practice it well. If I have a proposition P in conjunction with true, if P is true, true and true, it's true. And if P is false, false and true is false. So the result is dependent on the proposition and its value is equivalent to P. On similar lines, P or true is always true irrespective of the truth value of the P. Now think of false. P or false is P and P and false is false. If I have P or P or maybe P and P, the value remains same, that's P. If it is P or negation P, if this is true, this is false and if this is false, this is true. So being or it picks up the true value. So in both cases, it is true. Now, if it is P and negate P, then the resultant is always false. And if it is negate of negation P, then it is P. Just pause this video for a second and try to justify if these statements are right. Okay, I hope you have done that. Moving forward, each of these have a name. It's not very important to memorize these. So I'm just giving these for your information's sake. These are same as the basic arithmetic rules, which we have already mastered in our childhood. So moving quickly, commutative is uh, P and Q is equivalent to Q and P. And for distributive, P and Q is same as P and Q or P and R. And for associative, we can associate Q and R or maybe P and Q, both remain the same. And the same works for the connective OR also. And these are called the duals, which means two formulae A and B are said to be duals of each other if either one can be obtained by replacing AND by OR or maybe OR by AND. Now moving on to the most important formulae, De Morgan's law. Negation P and Q is equivalent to negation P or negation Q. Similarly, negation P or Q is equivalent to negation P and negation Q. So basically we are inverting a formula. Here we need to invert each proposition and replace AND with OR and vice versa. You can quickly check its validity using two tables. As of now, I'm not touching that. Now, the second important one is absorption law. That's P or P and Q is equivalent to P. This has to be registered in our brain. So let's try to derive this. P or P and Q can be written as P and true or P and Q, that's with identity law. We can just plug in a truth value. That equals P and true or Q. This is by distributive law. And we already know true or Q is always true. Now P and true is P. That proves the absorption law. On the same lines, P and P or Q is also equivalent to P. We have seen that AND or follow commutative and associativity. But these properties fail in the case of implication. For implication, commutative P implies Q is not equivalent to Q implies P. The test fails here. Associativity P implies Q implies R is not equivalent to P implies Q. 
implies R. Here also the test fails. But for by implication, both are valid. So P by implication Q is equivalent to Q by implication P and also for the associativity. Most of the time, whenever we come across implication or by implication, we just take a replacement using AND and OR. So learning the replacement formula is very important. So for implication, P implies Q can be written as negation P or Q. This we have derived in the last video. You can check this if in case you're not clear with the idea. And it's also equivalent to negation Q implies negation P. Then for by implication P by implies Q is negation P by implication negation Q, which is also equivalent to P implies Q and Q implies P, which is same as negation P and negation Q or P and Q. And again, it's equivalent to negation P or Q and negation Q or P. That's all. These are the most important ones. Apart from this, there are many other, but I think uh, we can derive them whenever they are required. Let's take a few examples. Show that negation of P or negation P and Q is equivalent to negation P and negation Q. Negation of P or negation P and Q. It can be written as negation P and negation of negation P and Q using De Morgan's law. That's equivalent to negation P and P or negation Q. That's equivalent to negation P and P or negation P and negation Q using distributive law. That's equivalent to false or negation P and negation Q. Therefore, it's negation P and negation Q. Here is a question asked in GATE 2008 paper. P and Q are two propositions. Which of the following are equal? For this, we have to simplify each of the formulae. So, for convenience, I will use A plus B for OR and AB for AND and a dash for negation a this is the convention used in digital logic okay so for the first one p plus negation q we can't simplify this further this is in the simplest form second one negation of negation p and q that's p dash q whole of dash that is p plus q dash using your de morgan's law and the third one, P and Q or P and negation Q or negation P and negation Q. This can be written as PQ plus PQ dash plus P dash Q dash. Here I can take P common. Therefore, it's P brackets Q plus Q dash plus P dash Q dash. This is true. And true with a proposition is proposition. Therefore, this can be written as P plus P dash Q dash. This is equivalent to P plus P dash and P plus Q dash. That's using distributed law. That's equivalent to true P plus Q dash, which is equal to P plus Q dash. In the statement four, here I can take P Q one. So P if I take common, P brackets Q plus Q dash plus P dash Q. That equals P plus P dash Q. Again, using distributive law, P plus P dash, P plus Q. That's equivalent to true. And this is P plus Q. Therefore, it's P plus Q. So here the statements 1, 2, 3 are equivalent. Therefore, the option B is the correct answer. One more. Show that P and Q implication P or Q is a tautology. So let's write that P and Q implies P or Q 
First, let's remove the implication. Uh, we already know A implies B is negative A or B. So this I can write as negation of P and Q or P or Q. So I'll write this as PQ whole dash plus P plus Q. That's P dash plus Q dash plus P plus Q. Everything is connected by plus. So I can just pair it up. P dash plus P in brackets plus Q dash plus Q in another bracket. So this is equivalent to true plus true, which is in turn true. Therefore, this formula is a tautology.